Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about a BBC scandal that is hitting the media. And I'm talking about back-to-back -back reports. It's definitely not looking good for BBC. Now, it is alleged that there's a BBC star, a journalist, right? Who paid a minor for SEX pictures and they're saying that the police is now saying um, this person could be charged by cops as well as doing years in prison. The story is sick, it's twisted, it's disgusting. There are also reports coming out from the mother allegedly who said that the child is on drugs and this man basically, or woman, but I think it's a man, took disadvantage of that. So let's talk about what is being reported. Now, it says a well-known presenter allegedly gave the teen more than 35,000 pounds for sordid images in a scandal that has rocked the national broadcaster. So you know those are explicit images. The Sun exclusively revealed that the star was taken off air and that the child's mom saw images of him sitting on his sofa in his underpants. Now, Nazir Afzal, the former Chief Crown prosecutor who led the prosecution in the Rockdale grooming gang cases, has told the Times the presenter could potentially be charged with sex exploitation on the, the Sexual Offense Act of 2003. He added the police should have been engaged as soon as they work out whether the compliant was genuine. Now, it says, where, where are we now? The middle of July, six, seven weeks on. So basically, this took place about six to seven weeks ago. And they're saying that they should have advised the police that this is a matter that should be investig they should be investigating and that it should have been done weeks ago. So they're basically saying that the police, they're dragging their leg on this because they should have started um the investigation long ago but it's alleged that the investigation is now on the way they're saying there's no justification for the police not having become involved as early as possible it seems like someone is trying to cover up some stuff there but let's talk further they're saying that this counts even if the images were created with the young person consent Whoa. <laughs> so they're saying that this man, um, they don't even know if this man created the images with the young person's content because it is said that, again, the child is um, allegedly on narcotics. Now they're saying it is also a criminal offense to ask a child under 18, 18 to send a sexual image of themselves and causing or inciting sexual exploitation of a child carries a maximum penalty of 14 years making or possessing or possessing indecent images carries a maximum sentence of 10 years speaking of the presenter the mom yesterday recalled i love watching him on tv so i was shocked to see a picture of him sitting on a sofa in his house in his on this i immediately recognized him he was leaning forward getting ready for my child to perform for him really disgusting um the lady continues to say that my child told me i have shown things and this was a picture from some kind of video call the presenter is understood to still be um being paid in his full six-figure salary after being suspended while claims are being investigated i guess bbc is trying to also avoid a legal dispute with this presenter with with this presenter because um he hasn't been charged and the reality is they still have to pay him until the um criminal offenses now they're saying that you know the teen got after this teen would get the money from the presenter the teen started spiraling with drug addiction um 
the child had gone from happy-go-lucky to ghost-like crack addict in three years. So, you know, you can tell that the based on what this mother is saying, this thing has been going on for quite some time. Now, this is really disgusting. And with YouTube, you know, we have to just be tactful about what we see, how we see, and all of that. But there's a lot of evidence based on what they're saying surrounding these allegations. Um, I'm not going to mention the gentleman's name because I think by now people should be aware of this gentleman's name. Neither am I going to include the photos because if the media is not doing it, I'm not going to do it either. But let me know what your thoughts are because this is really disgusting. This is someone that many of us worldwide has looked up to, someone that has been working with BBC for maybe a few centuries. So it's really disgusting to see this. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are and see you all next time. Bye, guys.